welcome back once again to my channel recommended speed 2.0 today's our topic is acute interception it's just the continuation of the previous topic which is strangulation of intestines so this would be a very quick so this occurs this acute interception this occurs when one portion of the intestine invaginates uh, is turned inside out into an immediately adjacent segment a condition is encountered this condition is encountered most commonly in children with a peak incidence between 5 and 10 months of age in adults there is always a case for intersusceptions secondary intersusception adult cases are invariably associated with a lead point which is usually a polyp, a submucosal lipoma, or Meckel's diverticulum, and other tumors like carcinoma of cecum, transverse colon. Pathology of this intersusception and intersusception is composed of parts. Intussusceptum, the inner tube proximal bowel which enters the distal segment, the returning or middle tube. The intussuscipiens, the sheath or outer tube distal bowel which receives the intestine. Apex is the part that advances further into the uh, distal bowel. The mass is the intussusceptions. Neck, uh, it is the junction of the entering layer with the mass and is the narrowest portion of the intussusception. You can see into susceptions and into susceptum, which is going inside. Uh, apex and inner tubes will have compromised blood supply, which leads to ischemia and gangrene. Ischemia causes logging off of mucosa, bleeding due to mucosal uh, ulcers formation. Blood mixes with the mucus to produce the classic red current jelly that is passed per annum. Gangrene which sets in leads to perforation and peritonitis. Intussusception may be anatomically defined according to the site and extent of invagination. It can be ileoileal, it can be ileocolic, it can be ileo iliocolic or it can be colocolic in the diagram you can see the current jelly so here it is the iliocolic intussusception in the patient with right sided colon cancer in adults coliocolic intussusception is one more common is more common the degree of ischemia is dependent on the tightness of the invagination, which is usually greatest as it passes through the ileocecal wall. Clinical findings or clinical features include initial co colky abdominal pain 75%, which eventually become severe and persistent. Vomiting may or may not occur at the beginning, but becomes notable and bile strained with time. Examination On examination, classically the abdomen is not initially distended. A smooth, firm mass is felt on palpation. Sausage shaped uh, may be identified. The sign of dance Feeling of emptiness in the right iliac fossa can be uh, felt by the patient. Unrelieved progressive dehydration and abdominal distension from so small bowel obstruction will occur followed by peritonitis secondary to gangrene initially the passage of stool may be normal whereas later blood and mucus are evacuated the red current jelly stool red current jelly is not commonly observed in intussusception uh, in adult but it can occur Per rectum, blood stained mucus may be found on the finger. Occasionally, in extensive iliocolic or 
कोलोकोलिक इंटू ससेप्शन दी अपेक्स में भी पालपेबल और इवन प्रोट्रूड फ्रॉम दी एनस इन्वेस्टिगेशन एबडोमिनल प्लेन एक्स रे एविडेंस ऑफ स्मॉल और लार्ज बॉल ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन विद एन एबसेंट सीकल गैस शेडो इन हीलियोकोलिक केसेस टारगेट साइन कैन बी सीन सॉफ्ट टिश्यू मास विद कॉन्सेंट्रिक एरिया ऑफ लुसेंसी ड्यू टू मिसेंटेरिक फैट मेनिस्कस साइन क्रिसेंट ऑफ गैस विद इन कोलोनिक ल्यूमेन दैट आउटलाइंस द अपेक्स ऑफ द इंटरसेप्शन अबेरियम इनेमा मे बी यूज टू डायग्नोज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एन इलियोकोलिक इंटरसेप्शन द क्लॉसाइन Rounded apex of interception protrudes into the contrast column. Coiled spring sign, pincer end. Edematous mucosal folds of returning limb of interceptions outlined by contrast medium. If there is any suspension uh, suspicion of gangrene, this method should not be done. Ultrasonography. you can see target sign or pseudo kidney sign or bull's eye sign which is diagnostic this is the ultrasonography uh pseudo kidney sign or the bull's eye sign can be seen on doppler method mass with donut sign and is useful for checking the blood supply of bowel ct scan ct scanning is currently considered the most sensitive radiological method to confirm interception with a reported diagnostic accuracy of about 58 to 100% a target or sausage uh, shaped soft uh, tissue mass with a layering effect mesenteric vessels within the bowel lumen it is worth noting that rarely interception has been noted on ct scanning is asymptomatic in adults treatment laparotomy is done under general anesthesia the apex of an interception usually lies in the ascending or transverse colon and consists of an area of abnormal ileum operative reduction of an interception is by repetitive gentle squeezing of the bowel just distal to the apex which moves progressively more proximal as the interception is reduced reduction by traction is liable to cause damage after a successful reduction viability of the bowel is checked carefully a resection may be necessary if the bowel is infected or if it has any disrupted during reduction If reduction is not possible a resection is necessary most often hemocolectomy is done hemicolectomy in addition in adult patients the apex is commonly a small bowel tumor which requires a resection with inclusion of its lymphatic drainage we will see in the next class the third topic adhesion and the bands till that time keep on studying goodbye